7.62 of 54 R. Let's not be underestimating my skill level. All right, people. Now we got like a four-inch dot. We're gonna shoot some 7.62 by 39 out of the Sam 7 UF. That stands for underfolder, which is right here. Very, very nice gun, folks. Okay. I ain't got the 30-round uh, mag in it because we're gonna be shooting from the bench at 110 yards. All right, people. We decided to prop up up here around 25 to 30 yards. Because uh, the elevation, the way everything is at the range, we'd have had to raise the dryer up like five feet. And we just ain't got no way of doing that. So, 30 yards, we're going to do that. I'll flip my under folder out here. The fucking beast. <laughs> Let's just do some old rudimentary propping up on something. Alright, prop up on the shoulder bag yeah about deer hunting distance you know that's kind of what I meant to say before I start shooting I'm gonna shoot twice and then he's gonna shoot twice my son Take a look. I've already marked all the previous holes, so we'll definitely be able to see where we hit. Pop it again. Got the old tree there. Like right. I said, we marked all of our previous holes shot. And here we go down here. Here's where I hit. So now, let's mark those two holes and we'll let my son shoot twice. And then we'll see if it went through or anything. Alright, whenever you're ready. sweet trigger <laughs> oh yeah all right people well he hit right there about right where i did on that time season two i marked right there that i hit last and then he had a little flyer but hey who don't every once in a while right so i seen dirt kick up i'll go ahead and just tell you oh and then look yeah exactly i marked all the back holes too so there they were down there that was the ak holes Shrapping through there as you can tell there there sideways 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 chunked up dirt let's see through the board even some of the pistols did i forgot to show you all that and chunked up some dirt right here so all right time to do something well, folks we needed to show you all this Man, it smells like burnt freaking metal in here. Look at them gouges. Look the way they came through here, like, and the way they hit it at the angles, they hit it. Busted my flap off there. Look at that. Tore right through that. It's tumbling through here. And the 45 earlier, I forgot to show you. Just mounded all that up in there. Anyway. Man, it smells like burnt metal in here. Like somebody's been welding. Alright, let's proceed. Well, you knew I had to do it. We're gonna bring out the M44. At about a, I don't know. Ow, man, that shit's still dang. Why did I say ouch? I don't even know why I done that. What the fuck? Wrong with me? Anyway, <laughs> um, around six inch dot there. And I would like to go way up there to 110 yards, but once again, the way the elevation is, this ground here, we have a hump, as you can see right up there and when I'm way up there at 110 yards I'd have to raise this thing up like five feet so we're gonna do another 30 yard shot with the M44 
Alright, well, good old M44. Let's see what we can't do. I'll shoot once, he'll shoot once. Romanian surplus ammo. I forgot to tell you, out of the AK, we we're shooting Tua ammo with copper wash. Alright, folks, here we go. Down up to 30 yards. Romanian surplus. 7.62 by 54 R. Once again, I've had this thing sighted in. I've been shooting at it probably 110 yards past, I don't know, a couple months. So I might have hit way low or way whatever. I don't even know at this distance because, once again, I haven't been really uh, playing at this distance too much here recently. So uh, forgive me if I didn't hit exactly where you probably thought I should have. All right, let's let my son take a turn here. All right. He's gonna take him a try. With the Romanian surplus ammo once again. Good job. All right. <laughs> Let's go in there and take a look. Now would you look at that right there. I hit a little low because I've been shooting far distance with this thing. <laughs> and he hit right there in the middle of the dot. That's all right though. That's actually a little warm. All right, let's take a look in here. I know I'm gonna smell some. Oh man. Whew. Man, there's like almost, you can see like haze coming out of here. Whew, people. Right there is something that new that happened. Right there, man. Busted right through that. Oh, yeah, baby. Something popped through sideways there. Eh? I mean, there's just like metal shavings in here. Alright. There's where some come out. Just ripping out right there. Let you know how big that is. My whole finger will go through it. I mean, and done a number on this target here. Look at that. Look at that. Shrapnel there completely sideways shit. Some sort of slice there where probably some uh, copper jacket come off. Cool as hell. Love doing this. This is redneck science, people. Alright. But man, I gotta shoot one more time. See if I can't do a little bit better on that. I just, man. Alright, let's do All it. Alright. I'll take another shot. I don't know why I hit low. Could have been the oil in the barrel. I mean, I ain't trying to make up too many excuses. We'll go ahead and go hot. Lay her down. And uh, make sure it doesn't fall the fuck off. Okay, let's get our hearing protection. Take a whirl here again. Good Lord. Hell, I'll do better shots than that. I fared 110 yards. What the hell's wrong? <laughs> All right. All right, let's take a look. It was good shooting this, baby. It's actually not that bad. Folks, we've done a lot of looking. And I'm gonna tell you, I think I went in the same hole as his or something. I'm not exactly sure. Um, I'm having a hard time distinguishing here because there's new stuff back here a little bit just a few little new things that I've seen I'm going to tell you what that is very strange I'll take one more glance inside was that there before I can't remember was it mm, I think it was I don't remember that being there do you I think it was I'm not exactly sure I'll have to look back on the footage people I'm going to let y'all be the ones to distinguish this <laughs> seriously <laughs> I couldn't have been that far off, I man. Come on. I felt like that was a great shot, to be honest with you. So I damn sure no, I didn't freaking miss. I think I hit in that same freaking hole. Looks like I'm about to shoot it again. 
All right, people, so we have came to conclusion. We have went through the video footage here and just reviewed it over and over and over and over. And we figured out that this one here, y'all don't have to do the homework for us, was the new one. And we were placing all this around here, shooting at that dot. So I did shoot through the same hole because I can't see where. I mean, literally, I, I literally went through the same freaking hole, people. That is, that is just, that is, uh, that's pretty cool. It's not every day you get to see it. Y'all got to see it. Once again, I got to bring that to you on here. So, uh, anyway, thanks for watching this video. And, uh, we'll continue probably with another series, maybe, uh, on preparing this. You may even see it on his channel. And, uh, you want to tell him a little bit about your channel? Yeah, you can go check out my channel, Mr. Epics. I do some gaming videos and shooting. Yeah, I think we'll put a few holes in this one. Fix it up. All right, well, you heard it, so. it's about all I'm gonna do to it. I could sprinkle it up some buckshot, but I'm gonna let my son have a little bit of fun with it too, so. Uh, it's not every day you get to shoot at appliances like this, so. <laughs> and y'all got to see it all on tape. And you'll get to see more on tape on his channel with it too. So, thanks for watching. See you on the next one.